Okay, so in this question, the graph shows the variation of momentum with the time t for an object and the graph is in front of your screen. So what net force acts on the object for the first two seconds and for the second two seconds of the motion. So the total time taken by the body for the motion is four seconds as we can see from the graph. And um, at the two seconds, there is a major change that is taking place in the graph. Now, what is happening? Let us see. For the first two seconds, as we can see, that momentum is directly proportional to the time and momentum is continuously increasing with respect to time. But for the second half, uh, in that second uh, two second time period, time duration, the momentum does not change. So let us see what is the Newton's second law. So Newton's second law is that force is defined as rate of change of momentum. So the momentum should change if the force is acting on it. And if the momentum of the body does not change, it means that the force acting on the body is definitely zero. So either it is the body is at rest or the body is moving with a constant momentum. That is the velocity is constant and it is not changing. So for this part, from this point to this point, I would say like uh, from two second to the four second, the force for the second two second will definitely be zero because the momentum is constant. It is not changing anymore here. The momentum is same. That is 20. But here we can say that this is the initial momentum and this is the final momentum and there is a certain change in momentum. So <clears throat> for the first part, we can find the average force by having change in momentum by change in time. So what is the change, the uh, change in momentum now? Final momentum is 20 and initial momentum is 0 divided by time and time is 2 seconds. So this will be coming out to be equal to 10 Newton. So it means that in the first part, for the first 2 seconds, 10 Newton is the correct answer. So A will be the right option for us that in the first part of the motion, the body is acted upon by 10 Newton and in the second half of the uh, motion, the body is not acted upon by any force. So with this, I think it should be very clear to you. So with this, all the best. Bye.